Hey YouTube, this is my video for packing tarantulas. I'm going to be packing off my um, avicularia versicolor, um, mature male for breeding. I'm going to be popping it in this box here. This is the box that uh, I got from Elaine. I shall be popping it in here, but first I'm going to show you how to line the tubs properly. So first, I'm using lots of um, toilet roll. So first, I've got this. This is uh, a thick. This is a bunch of sheets I've made into quite a thick sort of square. As you can see, I folded it up. That goes on the bottom. Just like that, as you can see. Okay. So now I've got that on the bottom. I want to give that a little bit of a spray. So we want to keep the humidity at a decent level. Don't doesn't need soaking or anything. It just needs to be moderately humid. All right. So then the idea is we want to have loads of padding around the edge there. So I'm just going to get the tissue prepared and then I'll cut the video back in once I'm ready to put it in. All right, guys. So I've made this little strip here. I'm going to place it in around the edges like that. I'm going to do a few of these sort of in there to make it nice and padded um, and to make sure there's not a massive cavity in there and I'll again I'll cut the video back in once I've got that prepped. You want to be spraying it every now and then because you want the paper to be sort of quite moist but not sopping wet but yeah I'll, I'll cut back in once that's prepped so you can see the next part. Cheers. Alright so I've finished padding it out now as you can see the cavity has become a lot smaller there I've just put my versicolor in there just to check that it's a, an okay size and it is, it's perfect snug fit versicolors in here, I'm not actually going to put him in tonight, I'll put him in tomorrow morning and just before I send them off um, it's quite nice and moist in there which is good and the last stage really um, as far as packing the actual pot is concerned is to put a lid on it similar to what we put on the underside but on the top so I'll just get that prepared now and then I'll show you that last bit alright so I've made this little square as you can see which I've also sprayed just a couple of sprays on each side not much and that will just sit nicely on top like that just there with the lid One second. A little go nicely on top, sell tape all the way around, and that's that done. As you can see in the box, I have bubble wrap at the bottom. Let's see how snugly this fits in there. Okay, that's fairly snug in there. It's not well. It's, what we're talking, it's not snug at all. But um, there's not too much room there. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I shall wrap that tub around with this stuff to make it a really nice snug fit and then I've got some more bubble wrap here which can go on the top but I shall continue this video tomorrow morning which is when I'm actually gonna um, put the light packet inside here uh, it's gonna be a bit of a rush because I've got work in the morning but I'll have time so yeah See you in the morning guys. Alright, good morning guys. Um, now is the time to put the tarantula in there. So, put my tarantula, my, my male versicolor, who I've named Genghis Khan, um, into there. Uh, I won't be able to record this because I don't have enough hands unfortunately, but I'll start recording again once I've actually got him in there and I'll put the top on and all that sort of stuff and then, yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, the bloody mission and a half. Would not want to go in there. Understandably, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But, uh, okay, so... Let me just try and get him to put his legs down. Okay, so as you can see, uh, he'll pull his legs in when he needs to, but it's fairly snug. Oh, no, don't come out. <laughs> Alright. Give a second, and... I'll cut back when I've got the actual lid on top because this is going to be a right pain in the ass. Cheers, guys.
All right, <laughs> finally got the uh, the tissue on. So I'm just gonna just check these. Yeah, he's okay down there. Push the, the those corner bits down just so they don't catch. Lid. Excellent. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do? Put loads of cell tape around the side there. And then I'll cut back in when I'm actually putting it in the box. Cheers guys. Okay, so I've taped up that. Left a little tab there so she can get the tape off easily. Just because I personally find it annoying when I can't get the tape off. One thing I forgot to mention is there's loads of vent holes in the top there. It's still important to have ventilation even on the uh, packing. Okay. So here's the box. I'm putting them in. Alright, let me just wrap the uh, tub up and the packing stuff I've got and I'll just be back with you. Alright, so, got it in there, which I'll fold the bottom and the top up over as well. So I'll sort of tape it down there, on the top and the bottom, and then I'm going to pop it in, so I'll cut back then. Alright, so as you can see, it's now nice and firmly in there. I mean, that's not going to be going anywhere, but just to make sure, I'm going to whack some bubble wrap on the top as I have underneath as well. So, let me grab that. Top there. But, I mean, this is not going anywhere. I mean, and then it's just a simple case of sir tape down the end, and I've got the address on there. Got fragile written all over. Then just run down to the post office and have them sent off sometime this morning. Um, so yeah, sorry I had to rush through that, guys. Um, um, I'm in a bit of a rush because I got work this morning. It's the first day. I don't want to be late and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I hope this helped. If you've got any questions, just PM me on YouTube or on um, RFUK. Uh, my username on RFUK is Peacemaker1987. Uh, so just send us a message if you have any questions or any requests for videos as well. So uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Oh, one thing I just realised that I forgot to mention. Actually, one of the most important things as well is uh, heating. Um, this time of year, I think I should be able to get away with it because um, it's been relatively warm. Um, but I mean, if it was, if we were in the height of winter, I'd be putting a heat pack in here. Um, and in that situation, you have your tarantula in there, and then you have the heat pack at the other end of the tub wrapped up as well because you don't want to burn the tarantula or dehydrate it. But it's just to keep it warm so it can get to the other end safely. Uh, as in summer, you'd have a cool pack to keep it cool, stop it from overheating. Tarantulas do better in cooler conditions than hotter conditions. So it's always, you know, if, if you're a little bit unsure, check the weather on the, on the internet and uh, make an informed decision. Ask questions uh, from people that are experiencing this if you're not 100% sure. But if you're, if you're a little bit unsure, always err on the side of being a little bit cooler than a little bit warmer. Anyway, hope that helped. Cheers, guys.